You all right, Bobby? What are you up to? He says, what's going on here, Dad? It's just outrageous. There's all sorts of stuff all over the place. So, hello, hello. Well, today I'd like to do a video about a camera kit that I've got. It's, it's, this is more for, a, really a video for Al from Hanau Man. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel below, but he doesn't post much these days. He's just, he, he, but he's a chillax chap, you know, and he's very supportive of my channel, which, and has been for many years, which I really appreciate. So thanks, Al, bro. I really appreciate that. I thought I'd show you my dad's camera kit that he gave me, obviously, over, when he got older, he got very ill and he couldn't really do photography anymore. But this was one of his, this was his first camera. It's actually bellows operated. It, 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 it will actually, I can't do it with one hand, but it will actually fold back in. You know, that's a bellows camera. I don't know if I can get it close enough to show you what make and model it is. In fact, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not that uh, bright when it comes down to things. But he loved this camera. This is one that you have to set the f-stops up on. It's all very quite complicated. And if you look, you can see where he'd written them in, in a white kind of china graph pencil. Obviously, it's upside down because I've got the thing upside down. But, um, but uh, he wrote it in a white china graph pencil. And uh, he, he progressed. Can I fold that up? I don't know. Probably. I'm a doved finger dicky, dicky dowini. It's, it's got fingers that it fingers of steel it has this this bloke. There you go, that folds back in, see? And to open it you press that and it pops out again. Ah oh, there we go. Hello, cuckoo! <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And then as he got uh, older, he progressed obviously, and he had this beauty, an Olympus OM10, which um for all intents and purposes, it still works. Uh, it's semi-automatic, single lens reflex camera, 35 mil in it. And um, he had a whole load of different lenses for it. Beautiful camera, really lovely. You pinch these things on the side. There's the lens, obviously. In, the, in like that. And he had all these extra accessories, which he used to use. That's a, I, I know that's a telephoto lens in there. I remember that myself, well, my dad telling me, explaining it all to me. That's a, that's a long lens, you know, like a telephoto. That's the one you take uh, pictures of your neighbour's wife with, you know. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. My old dad would never have done things like that. That's just me. <laughs> but that was, that's a telephoto lens. And he had um, all sorts of bits and bobs like that. I don't know what that's for. Stop flare, I suppose. Lens flare. And then there's another lens here. Um, it's a 28, okay, that's a 28 mil, 28 millimeter. So, so that's that's close ups, isn't it? That's for really close ups, uh, sort of brain shattering. The I would shatter that if he had done a close up on my fat, mildly fizzog, in it. That's a shame, that's leaked out. That's that bloody battery. I'll have to clean that up. Some batteries leaked out on the plate. There you are, so it's nearly clean already. I'll have to do that later. But that's, um, sorry, what am I talking about? These two batteries were in the bag. That's the bag. My dad gave it all to me in a uh, low pro um, bag, which is very kind of him. He bought it especially so that I could have the kit. And um, I can tell the time period because um, El Corte Inglés is, is, is in, 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 you know, in Espanol. That's where I used to live in, in Spain, isn't it? And that's my dad's writing there saying um, the Olympus OM10 operating instructions. All the rest of it. And in here, in here, in this pack, is the flash. Flasher, in it. The flasher. An open Macintosh flasher, that is, that's called. No, not really. But that fits on top. So it's an electronic flash, which is a, lo a lovely item to have. And he was an expert photographer, my dad, so he had all these filters that he used to use. It's funny because I had a lot of contact with photography, uh, cinema, 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 bum, 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 reboot, cinematographic photography because my first wife worked in the film industry, so I hung about with cameramen because I used to be interested in it. And I used to kind of look over their shoulder, see what they were up to, all the rest of it. And uh, I learned all about 
film stock load it load camera loaders camera operators focus pullers all those sorts of people that worked at Pinewood that's Ilford one two five is the uh, boom 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 the exposure rate one two five is I can't remember now sorry my brain's gone dead anyway that the whole thing's packing up it's just left the building sadly one two five I can't remember that is ISO is it ISO rating I don't remember that's black and white anyway, it's black and white. Let's get that much out of it. There's another Kodak 400. So these rate these ratings are for light, they're light ratings. So 400 would be used in very low light, is it? Or high light? I can't remember now. I should look at the book in it. I think 125 is, the, is to be used in sunlight or something like that. Is it, I, I don't know. Anyway, don't, don't quote me because I'm an idiot. But that's the cleaner, cleaner thing with. That's that's all the bits and bobs for that. Um, so that's my dad's elements of it. This is the camera that I had when I went around Australia for, for nearly 10 years. It was an Olympus, lovely bit of kit. Um, an Olympus trip, I think it's called. That's how you open it up. So, sort of just, just press and go type thing. Trip. It's called the trip. Uh, AFMD. I love this camera. It doesn't work now, unfortunately. The light has gotten packed up. It's just, just like my bleeding brain, isn't it? But I, I had it in this bag for years, which I used to wear on my belt. You know, when I went around Australia, so that, that was my that was that was my camera. But this this book, which I should look at actually, because I don't know, I don't understand all about the ISO uh, ratings and everything on film, wouldn't I? Um, ugh. But my dad bought me this because he was always very keen on photography, as I've just said, and he's, he's written a dedication in there to, to me from my mum and dad, actually. But very kindly, he said, there are wonderful people and places to photograph in Karpacz and Leszna. He's referring to Poland, obviously, with all their love. And, and that's pretty much the, the, you know, if you want to get yourself a copy, that's the bits and bobs you need. It's a beautiful book. It tells you all about how to... Um, Effectively take wonderful photographs. Unfortunately, when my, um, well, yeah, I, 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 I was, I was never that fussed for, 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 for I, I snap and shoot me, you know, I'm a snapper and shooter. That's that's. I, I used to know all about this stuff, but I can't remember anything now because my brain is, as I say, slowly dissolving. Oh, how wonderful! That's a, that's called a a, a a a large format camera. So you look down the top in that, on that one and you see the, the optical image comes up. Um, there are all sorts of different types of cameras, obviously. Rostrum camera, that one is called, I know that. I'm not, I'm not that, I've not gone that far. <laughs> but um, mm, it's a lovely book. It, I mean, it just pretty much shows you all that you need to know about how to, you know, filters, because filters can give you all sorts of different effects. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Compositions, how to compose pictures, things like that. It's a very good book, this. The Rule of Thirds. Well, the Rule of Thirds is simple. You just third everything off and you, you make it more interesting. So if you, people point and shoot at something flat on. So I mean, if, I, if I did that, if that, that's that flat on. If I did the Rule of Thirds, then I'm showing you more, aren't I? I'm, I'm showing you Jimmy, but I'm showing you my, my sort of old, uh, back bedroom as well. So that's all. That's the, the rule of thirds in a, in a nutshell. Not that, that made any sense, did it? <laughs> Nor do I. I, so I should just give it up, in actual fact. <laughs> I should just give it all up. But um, yeah, portraiture. So when you're taking pics of uh, people, you can, you can just make it all much more interesting, is what this book's trying to help you with. Lovely, lovely, a lovely gift. Thank you very much, Dad. I, I, I actually, to be honest with you, never read the bloody thing, did I? Just kept it. Mm. Anyway, that's all my dad's photography kit, Al. Um, uh, and and uh, I should use it, really, shouldn't I? Trouble is, nowadays, film is so expensive, and for me, it's just more it's simpler to just kind of um, to just use digital, digital film. You know, I do have a digital camera somewhere. Can't remember what it what's it called. I've got it somewhere in the pocket. Ooh, bear with me. I do have a digital one, but I don't even use it anymore because. What the hell? You know what I mean? Just use the phone, innit? 
Everyone's on the phone now, aren't they? They're all phoning each other. Flashing. Phones are flashing all the time. They are. This is the this is the digi camera. I've got, digi camera. I've got. I don't know if I can get that open with one hand, can it? I forget what the down is called. Panasonic something or other. Come out, you little monkey. There you go. It's got a, it's a Lumix. So I'll get it in the light so you can see that, mate. Oh, there you go. Well, that's not light, is it? That's dark. So there you go. It's it's a Panasonic Lumix. Ten times. Don't think it's probably working. Natural fact. Nah, the battery's gone, isn't it? But it's a nice camera, and you visualise things on the back. Obviously, this is commonplace. Everyone knows these sorts of things now. So you visualise everything on the back. It, it illuminates up like a television screen. And it opens up. It's ten times zoom. Can't remember the name of it. TS5, is it? TZ5, sorry. TZ5 Panasonic. Nice bit of kit when it's working. Obviously, it will. It does work, but I don't use it anymore, innit? What for? Got this thing. Got the phone, innit? Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching everybody else. I really appreciate it. Just one for you, Al. Because um, I know you're keen on photography and things. Things with lenses and stuff like that. So, anyway. Cheers. All the very best wishes to everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.